welcome to the Paint Bar channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm going to teach you how to paint three different types of seashells and make some foam. So before we begin, I should say that we painted these seashells and foam on top of a sunset painting that we have previously painted. If you'd like to learn how to do this with me to go through it step by step, make sure you click on the link above. So if you want to learn how to make these seashells, come with me. Let's get painting. So now we're going to start with the foam on our painting. So we're going to make it look like the water has just hit the sand, it's crashing against the shore, and it needs to have a little bit of that white foam to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to take my little baby brush, dip it into my white, and when I do this, I actually hold my brush sideways. So using the side of the brush, I'm just going to kind of blob up and down. All right, I'm going to get a little more paint on there. When I'm doing this, I want you guys to notice how some areas are a little bigger, some are a little bit smaller, because there's no such thing as having like a flat line of white foam beach. To give it even more texture, I'm going to have you take your brush, just kind of wipe it on your paper towel so the brush is nice and dry. And then you're going to take this brush and you're going to blob it on top of your wet paint to give your foam a little bit more texture. So just go like this, blob, blob, blob. Now you'll notice if your paint is wet in the background, it's going to come in which will give an added effect. If your paint is not wet, then you can just take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of glue on your brush um, and blob it on there while you're blobbing with your white. All right, so we're gonna have three seashells in this painting, and we're gonna start off with our first one, which is a swirly seashell. Now, you guys can choose any color you want for this, Personally, when I make bright, colorful paintings like this, I want my seashells to be bright and colorful. For our first seashell, we're gonna make an orange color. Now to do this, we're gonna to mix together a little bit of your red with your bright yellow and just a tad of white in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my baby brush, dip it into my red, scoop up some of my yellow, and then I'm gonna add in just a touch of white. Mix it around so you get a color you like. Now, to get a nice point on your brush, you want to spin the side of your brush on your plate so all the bristles come together. All right, so begin, we're going to make a swirl that kind of travels around and then just stop. So, for our seashell number two, we are going to make a purple. So I'm going to take my brush, dip it into my purple, tiny bit of white, and I'm going to go to the right of the seashell I just made, and I'm going to start off with just a little line like this. It has some white mixed in there, so it's not pure purple. And then what I'm going to have you guys do is make a line coming up in the center. That's the highest point. And then you're just going to have lines that come down on each side a little bit shorter. I was having you mix white in with your purple, but because my background was still a little bit wet, the white mixed in naturally. So if that's the case, just go directly back on top with just plain purple. Ta -da. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to make a starfish. So to do that, I'm going to use my baby brush. I'm going to make a light pink color, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the red in with my white. All right, so here, let's mix that color together. A little tiny bit of your red and a nice big scoop of my white, and there you go. There's that Pepto-Bismol pink. All right, so I'm gonna go to the right-hand corner. I'm gonna make a little asterisk, the line going up and down, line going side to side, out and out. All right, then I'm gonna go back on top, and I'm gonna create a little point on top of each one. Very gentle, because these brushes can get thick. my starfish. So we're going to add a little bit of a highlight to some of our shells because some of them are kind of fading into the sand and they need a little lava boom action here. So we're going to take your baby brush. I'm going to dip it into my fluorescent purple. However, you can also use regular purple or you can use red. So I know that I have black on my palette. However, because this is such a nice, bright, colorful beach scene, I'm choosing not to use it. So I'm going to use my brush, dip it into my fluorescent purple, and I'm going to go back into this seashell here very lightly, creating a swirl. Remember, the key words here are very, very lightly. And 
if you make a line too thick, you can always go back with that orange and fill in the rest of your shell. So do not freak out if you outline it and it's too thick and there's a blob, it'll be fine. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of that color to my starfish. So similar thing, I'm not gonna make a perfect outline. Instead, I'm gonna do little blobs around the outer edges. And maybe on the inside, I'll just do a little polka dots because starfish have little polka dots. Ta-da, I finished my painting. All my seashells have been added. I did them in my favorite colors, however, feel free to make them in your favorite color. I hope by making this painting, you feel like you have a little bit of summer in you all winter long. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun painting with me as I did with you. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like our video, and comment below and let us know what you want us to teach you next. We want to see your work, so make sure that you take an artsy pic and post on social media using the hashtag TPB Artsy and tag us at the paint bar. And follow us on social media. The links are down below. Bye. Thanks for painting.